Hey guys, today I'm going to do an Easter egg hunt because Easter is coming soon. So I'm doing with Play Doh. So here is my little set. So we are going to look for Easter eggs right now. But look! Ooh! There is a pretty silver dress on a pink Play Doh hanger. So we'll put that back inside here now. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to put this to the side. Well, anyway, I'm so excited for this Easter egg hunt. So we are going to search for Play-Doh eggs. They will look super duper nice when we decorate them. Well, next time, possibly, I'm going to decorate them, I mean. Sorry about that. Well, anyway, I think this is going to look really fun when we do this. So, let's look around. Do you see any eggs? I think I see one now. Let's open it up, see what it is. It. Apple Blossom, a Shopkin. Great. I love her. I'll just put her to the side. And I'll put the Play-Doh back in the Play-Doh container. So it doesn't get dry. There we go. Nice and safe. Next up, let's look for some other eggs. Do you see anything? See an egg, and it's a pretty pink one. Let's open it up. Let's see. It's a moshling. It's Gigi. So cute. I'll put her to the side. She can be best friends with Apple Blossom. So I'll just put that back in the container so it doesn't dry out. Okay, here we go. I'll just put this to the side. <gasps> an egg! We found an egg! Let's open it up. I'll start from the bottom. Okay, what's this? <laughs> I'll start to open this up. So we'll be able to put it back. Let's see. Oh, looks like a triangle. <gasps> it's Princess Anna from Frozen! I love it. Looks like she's getting ready for Elsa's coronation. So that looks nice. Now she can hang out with her sister. And Kristoff. And Olaf. They can hang out and dance and have a party. See? They're already dancing. Oh, yeah. Woohoo, backflip. Oh. Well, anyway, she'll go over there. And they go back in the box. I thought he could do a backflip, but he can't. Well, anyway, let's get back to the Easter egg hunt. Do you see any? Let's see. Knocked apple blossom over. <gasps> this one. This is a oddly shaped egg. Very odd. It's, I don't know um, which one this was, but it's either Flim or Flam from My Little Pony. I can't tell them apart for some reason. I just, I don't know why. But that's for Flam, I, I, I want to say Flam, but I don't know. But they can go there. Mm. Can you stand up? Oh. Well, I'll just get him to stand up or he can lean on. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Let's look for some more eggs. Hmm. In here. Let's see. There's something sticking out. That's weird. Let's see. 
Let's see. <gasps> Looks like some fabric. Oh, sunglasses and a headband. I'll try that on my doll right now. And I'll have her wearing the beautiful dress and everything. So this will be good. So let's see her with the sunglasses and the headband. So I'm going to try that on her right now. And she'll look good in it, I bet. She is Barbie's best friend. And Barbie looks good in everything. Oh, that looks cute. Oh, she looks so fab. Fabu. <laughs> well, here she is. With the dress on, sunglasses, and the headband. She looks so cute. She looks like she's from the 50s almost. Well, let's continue with our Easter egg hunt. Hmm, maybe I'll find some accessories like, ooh, a belt that could go on her. Be fabulous for accessories. So I'll just clip that on. Oh my goodness. She looks fab. Woohoo! <laughs> what do I, there's, I think there might be only one more egg. Let's see, we got an orange one. We got a purple one. We got a pink one. Wait, this is red. A red one. A pink one. A green one. Let's see, a yellow one. Wait, no, we didn't get any green one. That's the green one. And, oh, we didn't find blue, so that one must be hidden really well. So let's just open this one up. And this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I knocked that over. Okay, well anyway, let's open this up. See what it is. It's... <gasps> Purdy! A moshling! So she'll just go with the others right here. And at the end, we'll go over what we found. Hmm. I hate them, but I don't know what's in the eggs, so... <laughs> forgot where half of the stuff is. I think that's it. I used all the colors, but ugh, I don't know where it went. Wait, what's that in between? Elsa and Anna. Well, move out of the way. Step aside. Step aside, ladies. It's blue. It's <gasps> Play-Doh. Let's see. What this is, is it's black. It says, Monster High. <gasps> oh, it's a basketball. I wonder. So that's a basketball. So I'll sit that down. And I'll put it in the bag. Not the bag. The container so it doesn't dry up. All the Play-Doh's drying up. Which is a problem. So there we go. Now, I'll just set them right here. I'll put them to the side. And I mean the side. All the toys are on the side. Well, anyway, let's go over what we found. We found the Shopkin Apple Blossom, the Moshling Gigi, we found, um, Princess Anna on her coronation day. We found a pony from My Little Pony. It's either Flim or Flam. I don't know which one. Comment below which one. I love My Little Pony, but I don't really pay attention to them. I'm not like a Pega sister, but here is another Moshling, which is Purdy for Moshi Monsters. And a Monster High basketball, or as they call it, casketball. <gasps> we should decorate this to make it styling. So let's decorate it. So first, I'm going to cover it with 
blue like it was before. So I'll take the whole thing, roll it out, decorate it like an Easter egg, just a plain old egg, not anything else. So we'll roll it out, press down, so I'm gonna press down on it, spread it out. This is how I bet the Easter eggs were covered. So do this, spread it out nicely, put it on, push it out, and there. And push it down. Roll it out nicely. At least we can be a little nice. And then I'll get the utensils for color decor. So let's see uh, here. Hello? I think there is a cute here? little something. Let me just reach out for it. On oh, here. Okay, so now that we have that. I think I'm going to roll out some pink Play-Doh and cut hearts out of it. Just a few, like one or two. No, I'll cut out a couple. It's going to be like this big. So about this big, not that big. So i push this down as well. And we'll cut out as many tiny little hearts as we can for our ultimate Easter egg hunt. Easter special. Is this is an Easter special, so the video will be longer than it usually is. It doesn't seem like 12 minutes, though. So. Okay, so I'm going to use this little sharpener, heart-shaped, to use as a guide. So I'm just going to push it down. Here, I'll put it right here. I'll push it down and then pull it up and then we have a little heart oh I shouldn't use that side it's ruined the tree start I'll use a restart restart on this so I'll just patch that up there we go, all patched up. And then we will, you can see, you can't even tell it was gone. Well, anyway, let's spread it out more so we can make more little hearts. So, let's see, I'll do it on um, this side. Right, this way. So, they just get shape instead of the whole thing. So just like that, you go into a heart. So, I'll go around them once more, making sure they keep their shape. There we go. Now I'll pull around it. There we go. And there. And we'll just press down the corners, make it smooth, put it backwards, place it on the egg. Yeah, that looks nice. And then we'll do another one. I think I'll only do like two. So I, I don't really need the others. Oh, that one's smushed. It's like broken heart no no that's not the right heart to do it with depends on what heart this one a good heart this one's a good heart so I'll use it there we go nice and on so they're on both sides now let's see this one oh that one's actually better yeah, it fell off. wasn't even that sturdy. And this heart is so sad. This heart is broken. Let's link it back together. 
There we go. You can always fix a broken heart. See? Really? Really? Give me that. Eh. No, it's mine. Oh well, okay. Well anyway, that's that with that. Oh my gosh, 15 minutes. Okay, well this is a Easter special, so we can do what we want. Next up, I'm gonna add purple stripes. So, yeah. And start with purple stripes. So, oh shoot. Squeeze it, roll it. And just roll it out into skinny little purple strips. And then we'll feel good. Oh no. Oh well, we'll roll that out into a purple strip and that'll be a guide. So maybe if we can, if we're lucky enough, we can get it long enough to go all the way around the egg. So I hope you enjoyed the Easter egg hunt, but now we are on to egg decorating. So I'll just lay it, I'll push it down lightly around the egg. Oh, it meets, yay. There we go, there we go, perfect. Now let's move on to the next part. See how it expands here. This will become very long. Pretty much all I'll need is three, so I don't really think I'd need that much Play-Doh, so yeah. This will be good for now. Roll it out. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, well. Just place it around. And I'll link it on like that. That looks nice. And see how it'll all look like it meets. So, make it like that. There we go. That looks really nice. So I'll just put that back in the container and we'll move on with the next step. So I'm thinking of, hmm, I don't really know. Well, that's that for our Easter egg, I guess. So tell me what you think of the Easter egg. Do you like it or not? Um, I'll do a better Easter egg decorating next time maybe with an egg so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'll see you next time okay bye now that i'm taking apart the whole thing because i wanted to but the only reason why is because i don't want the play-doh to dry and i spent a lot of money on this play-doh because i bought a lot of it Ugh, in one pack you know those yeah they're a drag Anyway, squish this. What? Oh, my hands are all whoa. Squish, squish, squish. I want it. Oh no, is it hardening? Oh wait, I think. Oh yeah, I left the ball in it. Well, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.